Here's a quick presentation on JSPS Fellowships for Research in Japan. Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, which is JSPS for short, is an independent government agency that was founded in 1932 with the aim of serving the academic needs of Japan. It has since then been Japan's leading funding agency that supports a diverse range of academic interests and contributes to the advancement of research in all disciplines, as well as international collaborations. Uh, the JSPS San Francisco office was established back in 2003 in order to encourage more academic exchange between researchers in the US and Japan. JSPS currently administers 10 international offices outside of Japan, including the San Francisco office, all of these international offices are responsible for bringing Japanese and international scientific communities together and developing long-term relationships with our partner organizations. Uh, the United States is the only country that has two JSPS offices, although Bonn and Strasbourg offices are located extremely close to each other, there's a national border between the two. In this part, I'll talk about our research funding opportunities called the JSPS Fellowship Programs. I'm going to explain to you what they are, how, and when to apply. JSPS has several different types of international collaboration programs for different levels. Among them are the fellowship programs where individual researchers from outside of Japan are directly funded by JSPS for their own research with the cooperation of a host researcher based in Japan. Here's some of the basic outlines of the program. First of all, they're not field specific. We welcome applications from all disciplines, from humanities to applied sciences. In recent years, we have been receiving an increasing number of interdisciplinary proposals, which are totally acceptable. The programs are also designed to match your career stage and personal schedule. I'll give you more details about this later. Multiple application opportunities are available throughout the year. Again, I'll explain the schedule for applicants in more detail later. Our programs also include a living stipend, round trip airfare, travel insurance, and more. Here's an overview of our fellowship programs. We offer five types of programs based on your career stage. From graduate student level to faculty level, all of these programs are available for those of you with U.S. citizenship or permanent residence. If you are a non-U.S. citizen and want to learn more about the eligibility requirements, you can always visit the JSPS website or refer to this application guideline. Another unique aspect of these programs is that they're flexible in duration, so you and your host researcher can choose the length of the fellowship based on your own individual situation. For example, if you're accepted to the postdoc standard program, you can decide to stay in Japan for anywhere between 12 and 24 months. It's up to you and your host researcher. Now, I'd like to give you an overview of the basic application flow. For postdocs, there are basically two types of application methods, through open recruitment and through the nominating authorities. You can apply using one or both of these methods. For faculty members, you can only apply through open recruitment. For open recruitment, you will prepare your application, give it to your host researcher in Japan, and your host researcher will submit your application to JSPS through their institution. Through nominating authorities, you will prepare your application and submit it directly to a nominating authority. In the United States, there are three nominating authorities that partner with JSPS, and those are the National Science Foundation, the National Institute of Health, and the Social Science Research Council. Each may have different eligibility requirements or field specifications, so please check with their qualif qualification criteria before applying. Now, with the two application methods in mind, please look at the approximate number of available slots for each program and application method. The upper column shows the approximate number of slots available to all applicants worldwide through open recruitment. 
The lower column shows the approximate number of availability reserved for the U.S. nominating authorities. These, these slots are generally for applicants from the U.S. Postdoc short-term and standard programs are unique. They accept applications both from open recruitment and through the nominating authorities. You can apply through both methods at the same time if you meet all the eligibility requirements. However, you will be asked to withdraw one of your applications if both are accepted. The strategic program is a bit irregular. The program is for master's and PhD candidates and is generally referred to as the GROW program. GROW is specifically co-sponsored by the National Science Foundation. If you plan to apply to or are currently accepted to the GROW program, please refer to the last slide of this presentation on page 10 for more information later. Now, I'm going to give you a brief summary of time schedules for each program. This elaborate figure shows the standard application schedule for open recruitment. As you can see, most of the programs offer multiple opportunities in a year for you to apply. Please look at the red and yellow bars. The deadline to submit your application to your host researcher is marked by the red bar, deadline 1. The deadline for your host researcher to submit your application to JSPS is marked by the yellow bar 2. For you, deadline 1 is more important. Please keep in mind that this is an approximation and each host institution has a specific timeline for submission, so you must ask your host researcher about deadlines. We strongly recommend preparing your application and contacting your host researcher at least three months prior to deadline one. The green lines show the period within which you can start your research in Japan. You can choose your own start date at any time within this period. You can also apply to multiple programs as they have different JS, as long as they have different JSPS deadlines. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're a PhD candidate and already have an established connection to a host researcher in Japan, and you want to spend six months doing your research there. It's March 9th today, so the nearest opportunity for you is the third application period for the postdoc short-term program where your host institution will ask you and your host researcher to submit your application by probably sometime in early June. Make sure to double check with your host institution's deadline before you apply. Once you receive an acceptance notice sometime in September, you can start your six month research anytime between the beginning of January and March of 2021. Lastly, I'd like to give you a few helpful tips to meet a host researcher in Japan who holds the key to your successful application. First, get information from your own community, such as your advisor or colleagues. Referring to publications is also a good start. Research Map is a fairly common networking service among researchers in Japan. Other useful tools include Sinai and JSPS Researchers Network, where you can search and connect with potential collaborators. Please keep in mind that your host researcher does not have to be a Japanese citizen. Again, communicating and working closely with your host researcher in Japan is extremely important. We strongly suggest that you discuss the academic significance, originality, and feasibility of your proposal when you prepare your application. JSPS alumni communities can also assist you by sharing their experiences in Japan. If you're interested in connecting with fellow alumni, you can contact the JSPS Alumni Association in the U.S. by visiting their website. You can also make the most of JSPS Fellows Plaza, where they have a list of useful information about alumni and current fellows. I'd also like to show you how to access some data on past recipients of the fellowship. If you go on the JSPS website and click Programs, you'll find the tab that says International Fellowships for Research in Japan. Click either Postdoc Fellowships or Invitational Fellowships, depending on your interest, and you'll see the menu in green on the left side of your screen, like this. In the menu, you can find various kinds of data, including the list of current fellows and acceptance ratios. For your information, acceptance ratios vary each year in each application period.
That's it for now. If you have questions or would like more information about fellowships or international collaborative research, please feel free to contact us. Thank you very much.